For business news videos and insights, check out the O2 Business blog by clicking the link on screen or in the description below. Hey guys, Basil here with a quick video comparing the Moto G third generation with the Moto G4 Plus. Yeah, they've dropped the generation thing. Now the G4 Plus is just the G4 Plus. It packs a 5.5 inch full HD display a la iPhone 6S Plus, as well as some pretty high end specs given the price point. In fact, it's launching at less than the Motorola Moto G3 or third generation launched when it came out. Pretty good going considering what you get on here. What exactly is that? Well, what you do get is a device with the full HD display, fingerprint scanner, front facing five megapixel camera. Now what's really cool about this one that the G4 doesn't have is it's got a 16 megapixel rear camera by contrast to 13 and it has phase detection autofocus and laser autofocus as well. Under the hood you get a 3000 milliamp battery which is very very good going too. Compared to the 2470 milliamp battery under the hood of the Motorola Moto G third generation I didn't love the third generation. It was available in two variants one with one gig of RAM, one with two gig of RAM, one with eight gig internal memory one with 16 gig internal memory so what you really needed to get was the 16 gig variant to make yours worthwhile now as for the moto g4 or fourth generation every variant of these is really really good and when you look at the plus it's not just a good phone it's also incredible value for money too at under 200 pounds you're getting a very competent flagship type spec Admittedly, the design is plastic. It doesn't stack up against metal phones. The in-hand feel isn't as expensive. But side by side, like for like, you're getting five versus 5.5 inches. You're getting 720p versus full HD. You do have front firing speaker on the G third generation, which is good going. Around the back, 13 megapixels versus 16 megapixels. Both have side mounted buttons, removable back covers. Both play nice with Moto Maker as well. So you'll be able to customize yours to the nines. What's also great about the new Moto G fourth generation is the Snapdragon 617 processor under the hood, available with either two or three gigabytes of RAM, depending on the storage variant you go for. Both expandable via micro SD card. Really, it's gonna come down to how they function day to day, but from the offset, looking at the specs especially paired with that 3000 milliamp battery the g4 plus is looking like a bit of a beast and definitely definitely shows up its predecessor what do you think do you like the g4 plus you're just going to opt for the g4 let us know in the comments section below you like this video though click that thumbs up button and like the channel subscribe thanks for watching btech for business news videos and insights check out the o2 business blog by clicking the link on screen or in the description below